Uh, the 5 p.m. deadline for the mayor to stop, step down has now passed, with Correa saying he will not step down. And right now, we're taking a live look at Government Center, where members of the city council are about, about to address the media over this whole situation. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Clunian is live at Government Center with the latest on what's happening right now. Kim? Well, Shannon, we're expecting to hear from City Council President Cliff Ponte, who's expected to tell the media that they will be taking this issue to court and are going to convene an emergency meeting of the City Council on Wednesday evening. This, as Correa, as you mentioned, has said he will not be stepping aside. He has previously told us he would work until 5 o'clock today and return on Monday morning. He actually, though, left Government Center at around 3.30 this afternoon, avoiding reporters like me who wanted to ask him some questions. Here's what we know right now. Now, Correa has said he will not be stepping down, will return to his sixth floor office Monday as mayor. He says the council lacks the legal authority to remove him from office and has invited them to take the issue to court, which it looks like they will do. They have already retained a Boston based attorney. Meanwhile, Correa's criminal defense attorney, Kevin Reddington, addressed the issue of the mayor's removal outside of federal court in Boston today. The uh, so called order of the city council is of no legal merit whatsoever. It totally perverts the intent of that section of the city charter dealing with incapacitation. Jaziel is far from incapacitated and he's going nowhere. And Reddington was at court today resolving some issues over some of the folks on that non-contact list, folks that the mayor is not supposed to see while he's out on bail. That issue was resolved, though the U.S. attorney says no names were actually removed from that list. And once again, right now inside Government Center, Council President Cliff Ponte has just begun to address the media. Again, we're expecting him to say he will be taking this issue of the mayor's removal to court, convening the city council on Wednesday. We'll have more coming up new at 6. We're now reporting that down has come and gone. As you saw on Eyewitness News at 5 and 5.30, the City Council President just spoke a short time ago. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from Fall River with the very latest. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, as you mentioned, uh, Council President Cliff Ponte said just a short time ago, at this point, he considers himself to be the acting mayor here in Fall River, though he says he has not been sworn in. And as we know, Mayor Jaisal Correa has not stepped aside. And he promises, though, there will be no confrontation between him and Correa come Monday morning when the mayor returns. Correa has refused to step down following the council's eight to one vote this week to remove him from office. He says they lack the legal authority to do so, a claim that will likely now make its way to court. Ponte says the city council is set to have an emergency meeting on Wednesday with their attorney to figure out their next legal steps. And in a letter to Correa, he called the recent charges against him alarming allegations of pervasive corruption. If you're looking for some kind of a showdown on Monday morning between Mr. Correa and I, that's not happening for me. On Monday morning, we will see what happens. We'll see if Mr. Correa uh, does in fact return his keys. Uh, it is not going to serve this community any good, me going upstairs or sitting outside of his office or rekeying his office. And again, the council is set to meet on Wednesday night, holding an emergency meeting to figure out their next legal steps. Correa has denied all of the charges against him and again has refused to step aside. He said he would be working until 5 o'clock today and returning to business as usual Monday morning. He actually, though, left City Hall at 3.30 this afternoon and refused to take any questions from reporters like me who were waiting outside. Reporting live in Fall River tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.